Okay, it's Kevin here. Sunday morning here in Central Europe. I'm going to make a video on introduction number 72. So, um, many people make friends through social sites and chat rooms. Others believe that it is not a good idea to make friends without meeting them face to face. Do you agree or disagree with this? So that's the question. Do you agree or disagree with this statement here, but it's not a good idea to make friends without meeting in person. So you have to mention this in the rubric, in your answer, but the main question is, do you agree or disagree that it's not a good idea to make friends without meeting face to face? Okay. So what do we do first? Two steps to write your good introduction, you paraphrase. Many people, many make friends, form friendships, start a friendship, befriend people. Social sites and chat rooms, you could do online, virtual communities, via the internet, via the web. There's quite a few different uh, different ways that you can paraphrase that. Others, some others, some. Recommended, it's not a good idea, it is not recommended. Face to face, in person, you can use face to face as an objective, meeting, meet. So, you paraphrase. Uh, Sentence one, that's the first thing. Sentence two, yes or no. I concur with the latter idea in my view, I believe, I think, etc. I agree, I disagree. Why? Well, the main reason is that face to face interaction can build a trust. Reason two, because we only need two one for paragraph two, one for paragraph number three. Bonds of friendship can be weakened when one makes a friend on on um, line because you don't see them. It's not the same as if it's a friend that you meet in person, you know. So there's a few things that you could talk about there. Got a couple of samples. Virtual communities and networks are a place for many to form new friendships. Some people recommend that people meet each other in person before they do this. I agree with the latter idea since face-to-face -face interaction can build trust and also bonds of friendship can be weak when one makes a friend online. A second one. Social websites, online forums are a good way for many people to make new friends, despite some others believing that meeting face-to-face -face first is a better way to befriend people. In my view, both methods are equally valid as long as certain precautions are taken. So. In the first one, you are clearly saying, uh, I agree, you've got to meet in person. In the second one, I will be writing a more balanced view. And I'm saying, well, if you do this, if you do that, it depends. Because there's more than one way that you can write an essay. Just as long as you answer a question, you can agree or disagree or partially. I usually recommend either agreeing or not, because that's easier. If you're confident in your writing abilities, write a balanced essay. If not, come down on one side or the other. Now, quite a few things here. The, the first thing, this first one here, far too long for the introduction, and it's got reasons and examples. You don't need that. They should be in your body paragraphs. In today's world, being as touch has never been so e Easy. Yes, okay, but that's not what it's talking about. It's specifically talking about making new friends. Being in touch means being in touch with people that you already know. Not the same. The number of people finding one, one another through social media platforms is booming. Again, not necessarily about making a friend, but okay. Many argue that without a real connection or prior knowledge. Now, that's similar but not specifically the same. I can know something about you that I may have read, but it's not the same as meeting in person. One cannot truly, and it doesn't say trust, it says make. When you're meeting people online or in person for the first time to make a friend, if they are a friend already, you can trust them. But it's 
specifically says to make. So we're not friends yet, so that's not the same thing. Now, example, don't need it in your introduction. And furthermore, well, there's no fur furthermore because you haven't said anything yet. Now, I'm also of the, the notion that's not, strictly speaking, the same thing as saying, I believe, I think. That as simple as finding friends and socialising on the internet can be, one must acknowledge these plausible scenarios. What scenarios? Are you talking about forging and scamming? Well, you need to be specific what you are writing about. So, that's far too long. We don't need examples and it doesn't quite capture precisely what the rubric was asking for. Now, social networking application websites are widely used, right, widely used to be effective methods. Now, I, I, I changed that because it didn't say that. It didn't say whether it was effective or not. It says many people use it. Maybe it's effective, maybe it's not so effective. It didn't say that. Many people for forming friendships. Some others, you don't need to say some other people, you can simply say some others. Oh, right, I'll just stop this for a second. As you can hear, the church bells are ringing, so I'll return when they've stopped. Okay, it is quieter now. Church bells have stopped. Where I am, it's, um, it's mainly the Catholic here in the Slovak. Republic, so Sunday morning, all the church bells ring. Anyway, now, as I was saying before I was uh, interrupted, believed to be effective methods, it didn't, didn't say that. Some of us could be detrimental. That's not strictly the same as not a good idea, because it doesn't quite mean the same thing. Now, I should say that my firm conviction in this regard so, you mean, I think. So why use ten words when two will do? You could be using those extra words in your body paragraph to develop your main ideas. You don't really need it in your introduction. I should say that in my firm conviction in this regard. Hmm, why not simply say, you know, in my view, I think. Okay. Is that easy and attractive? A couple of criteria which are not meant to do it. And I'm, I'm, what, I'm not really sure what this means. I understand what the individual words mean, but how, what the general meaning of this clause is, I'm not sure. There are a couple of criteria which are not fully met without direct communication. You'd have to expand on that. I'm not, not quite clear what that means. Now, you can use people instead of indeed individuals. You don't have to paraphrase every single word. Apart from that, this introduction is good. All you have to do is say, many people make friends with social websites and chat rooms. Good. However, others, you don't have to say that, think that this is not reliable, making friends need face-to-face -face meetings. I personally concur. Now, that's only three. You don't really need with this notion, but Okay, face-to-face -face meeting is a prerequisite to making a friend. That's good. Now, many is not majority. It doesn't say that. The majority is not the same as many. Adopt, mm, use. Social media and chat rooms to make friends. Some advocate that finding friends with social media is not reliable without having a face-to-face -face meeting or an appointment. Well, that's basically the same. I mean, what's the difference? In my view, although there are countless unreliable people on these sites. Okay, okay. So, now, so you mean it is a good idea? Because being familiar with somebody's attitude is not the same as making a friend. I might not know your opinion on the state of Israel. Uh, you know, when I find out your attitude or opinion to certain things, does that therefore mean we're going to be friends? No, so it's not the same. So you need to be clear. Is it a good idea or not? Uh, didn't mention anything about the number of people. 
the advance of social media platforms, users, is it the same as many people? Now, comrade is not the same as friend. Not the same. A comrade would be a comrade in arms, like if it was like if you were in, in the army or in the trade unions. But a friend, not the same. Uh, except for way, but finding a good, good friend. Okay, things guys can come right. Okay, so that's good. But friends not the same as comrade, not strictly speaking. Is it many people? That's what it says. It doesn't simply say people. It's many, a, a lot of people. Acquainted with each other on social networks. Now, getting familiar with a stranger, again, that's not the same as making a friend. Uh... I might meet someone for the first time, they to me are a stranger, I might get acquainted with them. Again, that's not the same as making a friend. Oh, that's bloody bloody church again, there's like bells all. Well. I'm not I'm not gonna stop again. I'll just carry on because uh, I only have a couple. So familiar with strangers is not the same as making friends. It's not the same. It's pretty similar but not the same thing. May result in dangerous effects. Well, that's not not the same as simply saying it's not a good idea. On the other hand, those who do not agree it should be a face-to-face -face meeting. Okay, so that's good. Now, where's the rest of it? Where's the face-to-face -face part? Where is it? So it's only half there. Only half there. Now, a large number of individuals, why not simply say many people? You don't have to paraphrase every single thing. On the, the contrary, we, we wouldn't say that, we simply say however to indicate a contrast. Other people are strongly against the idea, get acquainted, which is again not quite the same thing as making, but it's close enough. New friends in person. We are living in an era in in which people even choose their spouse, etc. So, not too bad. Making friends with social media, increasingly is common. That one's, that one's good. You don't have to say anything about it. That one's pretty good. Nowadays, many people make new friends. Now, okay, that's, that is good. But this last a sentence, I have no idea what this means. I understand what the individual words mean. I'm not really sure what. Both assertions can be practical as long as public consciousness is prioritised. Sorry. Me, Novi, examiner, will have any real idea of what that uh, means. Which is a shame because the first two sentences are good. This one. Excellent. This one. Needs a bit of change. This one's not all there. Um, this one. You've got to be careful in paraphrasing. Um, again, you're paraphrasing. This one, not so clear. Again, it doesn't really say that. Not too bad. This one, not too bad. You could cut some of these things out. It's a little bit long for the introduction. And it didn't really say that about it being effective. It just said that a lot of people do it. That's not the same as... A good idea, and this particular phrase, you've got ten, ten words, you could, you could do it in two. And this is far too long for an introduction. Okay, so, ah, the bells have stopped, right, well, good. Now, um, I'm sorry that the sound for this one, you know, not so good. A bit of uh, noise, interference. I don't usually make videos on a Sunday morning, but a couple of people were, were asking, you know, can they have uh, some feedback? So I thought I would uh, do it. If you don't, if the, if the sound's not so good, I can always maybe have a, another go tomorrow. But I think this will do for today. So, not too bad. Just watch your, your paraphrasing and make sure that you include the key topic words of the rubric in your introduction. Okay, see you later and um, I'm going to be doing the winner. I'm making a video because we, um, as I said, 
uh, last um, week, we are inviting the, well, it's not like a, a winner, it's not such, uh, we, we will choose someone who submitted an introduction, invite them to write a complete essay, and I'll do a video scoring of that. So, I've just wrote a sample essay for that, we'll be talking about that uh, in conjunction with their essay, so that will do for now, I'll see you next time.